No time for scrapbooking? Instead, why don't you create a movie with them that everyone will enjoy? Hi y'all, this is Suzanne, and this tutorial will show you step-by-step -step how to use Windows Live Movie Maker to create a movie from photos. I will show you how to download and start the program, add, move, and delete file clips, add pan, zoom, and transitions, and save and export your project. Okay, let's begin. The easiest way to download Windows Live Movie Maker is to first do a Google search. Click on the one that says window.microsoft.com. Now click on download, follow the instructions to download the program, once the program has installed, click on Start, All Programs, and find Windows Live Movie Maker. The video I'm creating today is visual imagery of butterflies and camouflage. To begin your movie, you must first upload images and our video with which you want to work. First, Click on Add Videos and Photos, then highlight all the files you want to upload. I'm going to upload all of these, so I'm going to hit Shift and click, and then click Open. You can drag video clips and place them in any order you choose. Click on the clip you want to change, and then move it wherever you want to move it. You can also delete video clips by simply clicking on the video clip and pressing the delete button. Once you have everything in the order you want, the timing can be refined. Don't worry, you can move clips and insert delete clips at any time. First I'm going to play the video to see how long the clips are. I think the clips are too long, so I'm going to edit them. I'm going to click on the first click, go up to Edit, and look for Duration. I'm going to change it to 4. And hit Enter. I'm going to look at that again and see if that's better. Yes, I think that's a good timing for it. So I'm going to go ahead and set all the video clips to 4 seconds. I'm going to click on the first one, scroll down, click on Shift, and click on the last one. Then go to Duration, and change that to 4, and hit Enter. That makes all the clips 4 seconds now. I'm now going to work with the animations Pan and Zoom. Each picture shows a butterfly in its natural environment, and I want to zoom in to each butterfly. First, go to Animations, and then over here is Pan and Zoom. I'm going to work with this first clip right here. If I click on the arrow, it pulls down all of the options. Now, on this particular picture, the butterfly is very obvious and it's in the center, so I'm going to center to pick the zoom in center. Going to the next one, the same thing. This butterfly is in the lower left hand side, so I'm going to zoom in the lower left side. This butterfly kind of in the upper left. Zoom to upper left. This butterfly in the center. Maybe we'll turn it a little bit. There we go. This butterfly in the center again. We'll just turn it the other way to, to give a little effect. This butterfly is in the lower center. 
there. This butterfly, upper left. This one, lower center. This one right here, upper right. This one up here, upper left. This one's really difficult to spot. It's right here in the center. Because this picture is so hard to see the butterfly, I've added another that I've cropped right here. And again, we'll zoom to the center. This will make it a little easier and give the audience a little bit more time to find it. I've tried to order the butterflies from the easiest to spot to the ones that are more difficult to spot. At this point, I want to save because I don't want to lose anything that I've done so far. So I'm going to go to the left of home and click and select Save Project As. I'm going to call this Movie Maker Video Podcast Tutorial. Under Animations is another section labeled Transitions. We're going to set how each clip enters the movie. Click on the first clip and then notice how this clip only has a few transition options. This is because this is the clip that will start the movie. I'm going to choose a simple transition called crossfade right here. And then I'm going to change the duration to 0.5. See how that looks. Okay. When I click on the second clip, I get many more transition types. I'm going to choose one under shatters called shatter, shatter in. That's what that looks like. I want the rest of the video clips to have this same transition, so I'm going to click apply to all and change the duration to one. Because the last clip is the same as the one prior to it, just a close-up, I'm going to choose a different transition. Under Reveals is one called Insert Top Right. I'm going to place that and put a duration of 1. We'll see how that goes. Okay. Now we are ready to add an audio clip. Click on Home, Add Music, and you have two options, Add Music or Add Music at the Current Point. We want the music over the whole video, so we're going to click on Add Music, double-click on our music file, and it automatically places it throughout the movie. Now we're done and we're ready to see the movie. Let's click right here on full screen and see what we've created. Now that our movie is finished, we need to make it publishable. Go to the left of home and click. You can either directly publish your movie to Facebook or YouTube, or you can save your movie for a computer and save.
Congratulations, we have now finished our movie.